How's it going, everybody? I'm Rick here, back with another video on Final Fantasy 16. Oh, all right. Depending on these views, man, I might not uh, continue this series. Just a heads up. I will find something else. If you guys have any ideas where it's action or horror, uh, I'll play that. I'll tell you about it. It's wow. Fine. It really is you. It is. Clive. You're Samson. alive. So are you. I still can't believe it. Your wounds healed. Yes. Taya told me what happened. You saved my life. After nearly taking it, I had no idea. Forgive me, but how did you ever come to be there, Jill? Fighting for them. She had no choice. The Iron Blood. They invaded not long after the news arrived about Fink's Gate. Mm. Rosaria had lost her leaders. The duchy was in chaos. The Iron Kingdom saw our weakness and pounced upon it. They killed the men and captured the women. And took you back to Ironhome. I thought they meant to have their fun with me before the end. But the end never came. My powers awoke and everything changed. It all happened so fast. We were told that the Iron Blood had captured a dominant and planned to bring her on their latest crusade. Mm. They gave me a choice. To fight for them on the battlefield, or see my countrywomen slaughtered. Hey. And they call us dominance. What? Oh, he does. She don't know yet. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What happened to Clive? What happened at Phoenix Gate? Damn. It was me. I killed Joshua. No, that's not true. I know you, you wouldn't do that. And no control. It's the truth. I changed into him again, not long ago. The second icon of fire, the one responsible Clive. When I think back to that night. The hooded man, he, he spoke to me. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. What did he say? We have you. found you. What did he yeah. mean? Clive, we should go back there, to Phoenix Gate. I need to know what really happened, and so do you. You need to know for certain. And if what you told me is true, and you did what you said you did, then we will face it together. Oh, I. Look at that. All right. You'll be needing a change of clothes then. Ooh. Out you go, your lordship. 
We wouldn't want you getting overexcited. Uh, sorry. I'll see you soon then, Clive. I should be ready too. We have a long journey ahead of us. Side quest. Uh, all right. All side quests will be taken care of. Away from uh, like recordings. What do you want? To say farewell. Good decision. Better that. You've got a lot to thank that girl for. I know. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for. In... I. What? I did upgrade it. No, I can't upgrade nothing. Excuse me. Got nothing. Um. Here. A lot of money. Oh, I do have a lot of money. <laughs> I'm complaining about my lack of money. This is, oh no, I don't want to sell that. All right, this. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Off you go. Thank you, lady. I should probably say thank you to Gav too. Hey, Gav. So your mind's made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. And not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. Ooh. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you with Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No <laughs> need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Thank you, Pooh. Oh. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady. Ready. Where's this? I need him to change his clothes ASAP. That black and red gear on. So we got one side quest we'll do that a little bit got time what time rosaria it's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back years? either. Holy crap. Nothing. I couldn't. Rand did keep Didn't a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. Mm. The only way out was on a mission. I see. Mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. I don't know if I like positive Cl Clive so much. I like it when he's like all oh, angry. No. I'm happy for him. We're gonna be wrong. Thanks to you. 
like the Vengeance Clive. But now he's all confused, don't know what's what. We should press on. Yes. Here we go. I didn't even upgrade nothing, dude. Damn. That quest. Well, the hill must be Martha's rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. Hold on, I think they they did some updates to the system, especially about motion blur. But can we say the same for her patrons? That's a lot better, dude. Imperials Jesus. Don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier. Sworn to protect my noble mistress. There you go. Why is she running faster than me? What are they? There's a lot of hell. Hold on now. We're... This is. Bro, didn't even matter. at all get him boy and down you go that potion over there son oh hey you know what damn what lobster sick of trouble You try to set us up? Is, that, is it a, a thing I can pick up? Uh. Get him! Keep your distance, boy! Sick of toggle! Get him, boy! Sick of toggle! 
Hell yeah. Alright, I need some freaking health. Man. Grab over there. So it looks like the hardest thing that was there to fight was that damn big ass bison. These guys are gonna be easy. Get him. Here you go. Ooh, level up. Let's go. And I get my health up. Oh, thank you. Needed that. Over here. I don't want to miss anything, man. Touch you? Oh no! You know what? Oh, bro! I thought <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> I was like, oh, just antelope. It's be all right. Oh, fight. Get him off. All of them. Beat him up. You know what to do, boy. Over here. Get him, boy. Get him. Get him, boy. I do like that they do run fast <clears throat> after a while. That's helpful. They never finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. I think you need some help, son. Stop and give me Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Bearer. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to hear, you understand me. These blasted birds must have caught a whiff of my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was funny, Lee. I've got something special needs delivering before the. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me. Yeah, might as well. Fine. That's the spirit. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along. Be off with you then. And don't Master. go taking any detours on the... Eat your ass. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Now don't whoop your ass now. Come to me like that.
Oh, hey, the goblin mother! Goblins. So even my first mission today. Get him! There, boy! Get down, son. Oh, no, I didn't dodge. Get him, boy. There, boy. Get all as many hits as you can. Come on. There you go. chest 10 sharp banks take that all right bro i don't know how i feel um the size medium blah, 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 blah. i think everything else should be okay I'll sprint. Huzzah! Can I grab a chocolate ball real quick? <laughs> no. What are you doing? Get out of the way, bro. I know this man said no, de no detours, but can't help it, bro. Gotcha. Oh. Get him. Don't let them get away. Ooh, wait, there, son. Stay and stab. Oh, you better get me. Sick of Toggle. Get him. That's enough. Just squashed him. Like the bug he is. straight to it damn it here we are Martha's rest over there that's one of our branded one of our branded you're not gonna touch me are you the stable master I was asked to deliver this to you This is for me, right enough. Not sure what some bearer is doing bringing it to me, though. 
Where's that fool of a peddler got to? He couldn't come himself. His cart's surrounded by wild chocobos. <laughs> Sounds about right. He'll have it full of Gizal greens, no doubt. Crammed with them, if I know him. Gizal greens? Chocobos go mad for them, don't they? And if you forget to seal the car up tight, the smell gets out. Uh... They're a fine investment for a savvy merchant, but you can't get greedy, as our mutual friend is learning the hard way. Eh. Wait. Easy quest. Easy piece. It's. I'll take that. Yeah, take me in, huh? Well, go on. Do it. I dare you. Touch me. Ooh. Ooh. They didn't want none. They were scared. You barely have to step up. I wonder if Martha is as friendly as Gav claims. Um, oof. Martha's rest. This is a shop. Let's go and find out, shall we? Very good to East Bowley. As soon as I can use that now. That was, oh, water. Magic. Um, it's a shop, but I'm, I want to see if I can find a blacksmith. I didn't even talk to the other blacksmith. I messed up. Hello. Senora. Excuse me, would you happen to be the landlady? Depends who's asking, and why they have an imperial bearer with them. For protection, which hopefully won't be needed, if you can advise me on the safest route to the west. It's your friend here I'd be worried about. Oh no, he can handle Paris himself pretty well. don't have an easy time of it in Rosaria. Even a strapping lad like him might attract the wrong kind of attention. Oh no, don't worry. And if he gets nabbed, it ain't likely to end well for you either. Then we'll just have to stay out of the militia's way. Gav said he might be able to help us. Follow me. <laughs> now what the? You speak that name out here like that? Wait. Sorry for before. Can't be too wary of strangers asking questions in our game. I'm Martha, an old friend of Sid's. He said he had high hopes for a bearer who joined recently. I expect that's you. So, where is it you're headed? For Phoenix Gate. We have questions that need answering. Hmm? Yeah. Is that so? Well, if you want to avoid the garrison, the road through Eastpool's your best bet. Or it would be. If the bridge hadn't collapsed. But it's still there. We just a jump right it, right? What a nuisance it is. We've had no trade with the village for weeks. I did ask our carpenter to take a look at it. But he went out on another That's job. That's our next job right there. Finding that carpenter. Back. I'll bet you. Do you think something might have happened to him? Yes. Fingers crossed he's just taking his time. The alternative don't bear thinking about. We'll find him. And make sure he's safe. <clears throat> we both need that bridge repaired. Your carpenter sounds like the man to do it. I see why Sid's got such a soft spot for you. If you could, I'd be in your debt. You said that he went out on a job? Right. The marshes were dangerous at the best of times. There's a ladder yeah. to the side of the gate. That's the quickest way down. His name is Bernard. Should Bernard you find or him Bernard. Well, tell him Martha sent you. And that he's wanted at the bridge to Eastpool. Of course, we're going to prioritize this. Vamanos. To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. Open sesame. Where is this shop? And then. Watch out, lady. You, sir. Look like a right. You can catch your right.
Thanks very much. There you go. You know what? I'm just gonna buy it. Much obliged. I hold on to everything that's there. There you go. What the? Founders footsteps. Is it just a man? It's just a song. Give me out. Oh, th this is what I need. Thanks very much. There you go. Thanks very much. There you go. Much obliged. All right. That sword looks pretty cool. Hello. Uh, we're going the wrong way, aren't we? Fresh cuts, fresh cuts, get your fresh cuts here. Let's go. Make sure you're aiming that at the fish there, son. Now sprint. Yeah. Very good to East Pooley. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. You just jump. Oh. Yeah, bro. Just jump. What the f just teleported. I don't care what you're on. What was that? It came from under the bridge. Come on. I'm here. There he is. Hold on, we're coming. There, boy. It's over. Get him, boy. Sick of Toggle. Come on, sir. Over here. Beat him, beat him, beat him. Get him. Stand down. Over here. You know what to do. Over here. Sick of Toggle. Dead. All that gold we just had. Thank you, my lady. We never got there. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. Oh, no, don't I'm worry a about that. Of Martha. Well, I, I just finished checking these piles when I turned around. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been. We're just glad you're. I, I best go and give my. Actually. She asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but it, it clean slipped my mind. There you go. Can you fix it? Uh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. Thank you, Bernard. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry. I owe you my life. Fixing a vacuum, my lady. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him, <laughs> we go way back. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right. We will. Let's go, fam. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed, all right? Exactly. All right, come on. I went the long way, dude. You Look, it's a chicken. That sword from it, oh, I was like, what? I'm going to use it on you? Oh. All right, here you go, Martha. We're done. Ah, you're back. What we did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to East... Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. It's the Blight's fault. They'd nothing to eat in the North, so they come down here. Oh, he can't keep going out alone. I... But anyway, th I don't have a lot to offer in return. We'd be delighted. Quest complete. Meteorite. Don't let me sleep now, please. Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? 
Flagon of Imperial Gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but it'll slake a thirst. Hmm. No, thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes, there were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? Nah, dog. They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Hey. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well... Congratulations on a new arrival. And you got a little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I Let them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? Dog. No. That's wild. Love him soon enough. You just have to be patient. All right? All right. They made that dude a bear when he was young, like a baby, and now she just got rid of him. Down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far. Beggar wouldn't spit on him. That is wild, dog. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you. Understood. All right, let's go. Prioritize. It was good, honest. What? So I can go this way? You're aiming that at the fish there, sir. Come on, have a look. Don't oh, be shy. Fresh cuts, fresh cuts. Get your fresh cuts. Oh, so, uh, there it is. I was like, how are we going to get down, bro? I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I yeah, know. that's messed up, bro. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault. No fault of their own, yeah. Of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. There, boy! That's enough! Oh. Sick of trouble! Did I just get hit? Uppercut. Oh. Hey, hey, I got uh potions now. Okay. Grab beat. Oh, grab beat. Buy chocolate balls now too. Yeah. Is that a dodo bird? Listen. Oh, my God. 
Come on, baby. Show me the magic. Oh, tell me I gotta fight y'all too. Nah, I don't think so. There's the Abbey. You are well, because I Darkness hate spiders. Bro. Within, I Let's go and see. You know what to do, boy. Don't let them get away. Over here. Get them. Eat him. Oh. Come back. Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation. From Martha. <sighs> I see. Then please follow me. Why well, the hold on? Why is this man hesitating to take the damn the leather pouch thing? Whatever it is. I I never want to die. Please, father. Come in for the pain. Thank you. The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. What happened Who to them? Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can for the time they have left. What does that mean? That petrified hand? Yeah. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. You get crystallized With if they once draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Bruh. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that, but we can at least strive to that make is their final dang hours. It. So they just a little use the crap out of them. Bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this yeah, life. Dude, that's kind of messed up. Thank you, Father. So once they're forced to use the crap out of the magic in themselves, they just petrify and turn to stone. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Now that their final moments may be moments of peace. Like poison? When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. Oh, 
but that's nuts, dude. We should get back to Martha's rest. Yes, we should. Haha! <laughs> Is there something back here? How can there not be? No, it's fast travel? Yeah! Abbot had a mess. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. So. I've seen plenty of bearers die on the battlefield. And all because they were born. The powers that be can't take away their gift. So they strip them of their human. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight. But so long as we're content to sit around, weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we... And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it? Used profits from this place to... So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours... Aye, they're my pro... Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. But it's not all doom and gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You got questions that need answering. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this and they'll know you for one of them. Oh. Seal obtained. You accept the slumbering chalk wall from Martha. Nice. And know that you will always be welcome here. Appreciate it. Mm. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Damn. Alright. Ooh, two gill bugs. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I don't want to start no crap. Hey, it's Sid. Sid. Oh, He's also boy. petrifying. You know where I left Bro. Out your hand. No. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as. My decoration for long service and exemplary misconduct. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> If you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. An addictor? to just save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. 
But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Hey, let's go. Except that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, that feels so cool. Jill. Damn, Sid. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. So uh, then. Let's go. Holding on. Ooh, quest. Oh, there's a lot of them. False friends, crystal knife. Nope, I'm not touching none of them. I hear the levies. <clears throat> My man. I have a slumbering chocobo. Welcome to the brotherhood. I don't need you to tell me what the hell I can do. Don't you worry about them boards. I use good solid lumber. It's the base on the other side you want to be careful of. It's your Bernard. Or Bernard? Martha said the blight spread even further south. Pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Oh yeah. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. Our wits about us. Arachnid! Fucking It's the same as the one back at the hideaway. Doesn't seem to be working now. Hmm. Nah, dog. You there? No. Over here. No. Get him. You know what to do, boy. It's over. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was I wasn't gonna fight. Stay down. Sick of Tampa. Get him, boy. There, boy. Leave her alone. All right. I hate not exp oh no, whatever. Come back to it. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool.
I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. This area seemed a very different place back then. Alright. Hey, look. Uh, travel spot. Clive Rossfield. Good. Huh? It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Oh, Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> It's good to see you too. Man, my yeah. boy Lord Lord Murdoch shouldn't have died. <laughs> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Just hope she's not bad, bro. That would suck. Uh, she just betrays. And you have been oh. wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. Mm. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Good for you, lady. Good for you. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. You shaking? Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Nah. You're good. Please. She betrayed us. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Bro, do you not... Do you not know what happened? Oh, he doesn't know. <sighs> You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. You burned him. I... I'm sorry. Clive. It was you! You did it! My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Mm -mm. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Mm -hmm. 
Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon mm. yes I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered hey look it's small Joe oh he came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us Got a kiss? No, you don't want. Oh. You wanted to, but that dude don't lean in. We should get some rest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Is this the... Thank yeah! You. Perhaps now people will not <laughs> flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Bro! Oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years. Collecting cobwebs, along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. Yeah. Oh boy looking cool. They suit you well. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Mm, yeah. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invictus? <gasps> oh! If we fall. 
gear, 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 gear. Ooh. <laughs> All right. That's it. That is official. You're like a badass now. Um. Take us all the way. To yes. Phoenix Gate. Let's go. Um, I don't think I need anything. Y you. Those are Elwins. You're his firstborn. You're mistaken. Ah, uh, I'm not. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Talking about, bro. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith thirteen years back. Many who lost them and never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Rosaria became a province of San Breck. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew- And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosalind. Oh. Bequeathed you, and they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them you- I'm no one's master. Hmm. I understand. You'll forgive, but still, I w One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't <laughs> ask that you take it, only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's sons... It would be my own. Thank you, my... He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show... Alright, I'll do this. And then it'll be the last thing I do. As fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Sure um, bearers, Elwyn. Live. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. All right, let's ask her out. I'll ask you. Well, now. And we're looking for an elderly bearer. Ah, you mean the old boy who always... Yes. What, uh... What business do you have with him? We are. Well, then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and never would have left if Archduke Elwyn. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. Oh, the beat. The levee's going up and up and up, even as the blight took out. Oh, listen, I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day. We'll keep asking around, then. My guy. Good day, Millie. I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfield. Ah, that old bunny. He's usually down by the well. I'm sorry. 
Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> Living in a dream, but better there than here, I suppose. Can't? No. Anyway, you'll be... Thank you. Hmm. My boy at? Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He'll be in the stables. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Hmm. My guy, where is this dude? Excuse me, but it's this bearer I've been minding. I take he's not in his usual spot by the well. You must be. I am. And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who. That's the fact. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in East Pool before. First, explaining everything. Oh. Ah. Well then. If you're acting under orders of... He's been losing what little sense he had left of late. Saying the sheriffs are coming to collect. I was supposed to watch over him. Keep him out of... Understood. You keep... Sir. Thank you. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. My guy, where are you? Drink up now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Hey. Look, there's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Oh. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Stay down. Ooh, that's enough. Damn, son. my friend come on let's go home your grace i waited for <laughs> you so long i'm clive <sighs> do it bro a man's lost his mind yes pray forgive my long delay it's nothing your grace i prayed to the founder that you will we be returning to the castle then no my friend we will not be returning to the one which may take some time. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, your grace. For you. <laughs> this dude. Thank you, both. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. The blight is on our doorstep. 
Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stay behind, we would... We want yeah. to keep the bearers safe here. We really do. But unless a... Is it really that bad? So bad. I even... But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. I know a man named Sid. Who would gladly give a home to any? Leave this with me. Thank you, my. Yep. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should. Regarding the future of the village and what might be done for Lady Hannah. Yes, of course. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. Wing. Okay. That's it. That'll be the end of this here episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I did. I I, I like the whole thing, but I know the cutscenes are a bit slow, so it makes the it's a bit harder to keep up with everything. We're working on it, and I'm debating whether to just stop making this one, stop recording this, and just seeing if we can just do a different game. I'll let you guys know what I decide. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Afrika is out.